In this video, I'll show you how to estimate specific indirect effects in Smart PLS4. If you have a model like this, with multiple mediators, then the indirect effects are calculated through both mediators simultaneously. However, in Smart PLS4, you can estimate these individually. To do this, go to Calculate, and with a model like this that has all reflective latent factors, choose Consistent PLS SEM Bootstrapping, Ideally, choose at least 2,000 bootstrap subsamples, and then in the PLS setup, for testing structural models, it is recommended to use the path weighting scheme. Then start calculation. When this finishes, if your navigation menu is hidden over here on the left, you can always expand. And then to view specific indirect effects, just go down here to final results and specific indirect effects. You can see in our model, we have two specific indirect effects. One happens through burnout from customers, the other happens through ethical concerns. The sample mean estimate is the coefficient regression weight for these indirect effects. It appears we have a weak indirect effect through burnout and a moderate indirect effect through ethical concerns. Looking at the p-values over on the right, we can see that both appear to be statistically significant. And that's how you estimate specific indirect effects in Smart PLS 4.